I am so glad that you took the time to ask this question because I have a theory and I don't know if there's any truth to it, but I would love to hear other people's ideas on what this may or may not be. Um, but from my own experience and observations, whenever I have a client dealing with this, I'll ask them if their home is built into a vacuum. And what I mean by this is usually the living room and the kitchen, the dining room, all of that, it's like the first thing when you walk in. It's a wide open space, well lit usually from lighting as well as windows. There's usually a front and back door or front and side door where um, I don't think that energy is contained by door but you know I think that opening and closing doors and going in and out kind of you know disrupts that energy from getting stuck sometimes you know um, I think that ghosts like to be out and about with us where everything's a buzz and you know we're having our morning cereal watching TV and stuff like that just relaxing I think ghosts like to feel like part of the family but entities are a little bit of a different story and I don't think that they're demonic per se um, sometimes I think they can just be the energy that we carry around so when we come into the house and we're carrying around something that attached to us from somebody else or whether we had a bad day and that energy starts to kind of grow into something more um, when we come in I think that it retreats down the vacuum of the hallway because whenever I'm not thinking about anything and I'm just clear headed or whenever I'm in tune one or the other and being clear headed really tunes me in without thinking about it. But, but when I'm not thinking, it's like, I will feel a pull down hallways, not just my own, but other hallways as well, or, um, up the staircase as well, because it just feels like it's this vacuum kind of energy and usually down the hallway up the stairs that's where bathrooms and bedrooms are um and all of that and i think that these energies and entities like to retreat to darkness so they go under the bed in the closet finding the darkest corners of the home places that are you know not usually frequented by people and i think that sometimes um when we're like say we're in bed I think that sometimes they come out and go into the living areas because I've noticed that when I go to get my midnight well 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m snacks um <laughs> and um that's where they feel like they're more active I have gone in and seen fog in the living room and thought it was smoke and when I ran to go see it it disappeared so um I think that they like to take refuge in the darker corners um, because they feel safe and then they come out when our defenses are down right as we're about to drift off to sleep and wondering hey was, was that a dream or did I really hear laughter in the closet 